When measuring different types of quantities, there are many ways of doing so. Today, we will be specifically talking about the metric units and how to convert between them. The base units used to measure mass, volume, distance, time and force are grams, liters, meters, seconds and newtons. Depending on the size of what you're measuring, different units are usually used. For example, the length of a wall would probably be measured in meters, whereas the length of a mobile phone would probably be measured in centimeters or millimeters. Or the distance from Deptford to New Cross to London would be measured in kilometers. We use these different units to represent the quantities in a more reasonable way. My phone is about 14 centimeters tall. 14 centimeters in meters is 0.14 meters. 14 centimeters in kilometers is 0.00014 kilometers. 14 centimeters is a more reasonable way of showing that length than the other two. We could also say 140 millimeters. So how do we convert between different metric units? For example, we've talked about the centi and kilo prefixes. The word centi has always been linked to 100. Percent is out of 100. A century is 100 years. And there are 100 cents in a dollar. That's why 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. Similarly, kilo is linked to 1000. So a kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. How about milli? 1000 millimeters is equal to one meter. How many millimeters are equal to a centimeter? 10 millimeters is equal to one centimeter. These relationships can be used to convert to different units. For example, convert 45 centimeters to millimeters. Throughout this series, we've used ratios to convey relationships. The relationship between millimeters and centimeters can be written like so. Using our divide up, multiply across technique, we can easily convert this. 45 divided by one, then timesing across by 10. This gives us 45 centimeters is equal to 450 millimeters. The benefit of the system is that certain prefixes that are attached to the base units always mean the same thing. 1000 milligrams makes a gram, 1000 grams makes a kilogram, even 100 centiliters make a liter. This table shows us how much bigger or smaller each unit is from the base units. Let's convert 2,100 grams to kilograms. The relationship is 1,000 grams make one kilogram, or 1,000 grams to one kilogram. Again, using our Duma method, divide up, multiply across, we can find our answer. 2,100 divided by 1,000 times by one gives us 2.1 kilograms. Therefore, 2,100 grams is equivalent to 2.1 kilograms. There are other prefixes that are used in the metric system, such as deci, micro, nano, pico, deca, hecto, mega, giga, and so on. There's quite a few of them. However, depending on where you are and what you're studying, all are not required to be known. For maths at this level, centi, milli, kilo, are the only prefixes you need to know, but it can't hurt to be familiar with some of the other ones. By memorizing these five relationships, converting between metric units is straightforward. Another example, convert 3.7 kiloliters to milliliters. The knee-jerk reaction would be to try and find the relationship between milliliters and kiloliters. Just use the ratios we have above. First, let's convert 3.7 kiloliters to liters. 3.7 kiloliters divided by one, multiplied by 1,000, gives us 3,700 liters. Now we convert 3,700 liters to milliliters. 3,700 liters divided by one, multiplied by 1,000, which gives us 3,700,000 milliliters. Sometimes in questions, you'll be given the relationship between different units. A question such as, Seven pints is approximately four liters. Find the amount of 2.6 pints in centiliters. An extra step will be needed for this question, but the setup is still the same. 
lay out the information as a ratio like we've been doing before. Divide up, multiply across. We know that 2.6 pints is approximately equal to 1.49 litres. We also know that there is 100 centilitres in a litre. We lay out our information like before. Divide up, multiply across. 2.6 pints is equal to approximately 149 centilitres. The only measurement that has a unique relationship with its different units is time. 60 seconds is equivalent to one minute. 60 minutes is equivalent to one hour. 24 hours is equivalent to one day. 365 days is equivalent to a year. Seven days is equivalent to a week. There are approximately 52 weeks in a year. If we wanted to go larger, 10 years makes a decade, 100 years makes a century. A thousand years makes a millennium. The only part of time that is similar to the other measurements is milliseconds. 1000 milliseconds is equivalent to one second. We can use these common relationships to convert between different units. So to summarize, when converting between metric units, use the five common ratios that represent the relationship between the base units and the different prefixes. Then apply our technique for finding values using a ratio. Have a go at these questions. If you like this series, be sure to comment, like and subscribe to be kept updated on new in-depth videos and most importantly, share. I mean, what's the point of knowledge if you can't share it, right? And if we can make some people not give up on maths because of these videos, then our job is done. Don't see a topic you need help with? Suggest topics in the comment section. Thanks again for watching and for learning. Peace.